opportunity here uh, going up to D1. I mean, what are you looking forward to uh, about this season? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just really excited, excited to play at this stage, you know, with this fan base. It seems to be like everyone's really involved and, and loves this team, so I'm excited to get out there and see what I can do for this team. How did this come about for you yeah. to, to make this jump? <laughs> Yeah, so I played three years at a, at a smaller school, and um, you know, I, with one year of eligibility left, I decided, you know, to take my shot at a bigger stage and and see what I can do and see if I can play at the next level. So that's really why why I decided to do it. And then Illinois hopped on the phone with me and gave me this awesome opportunity. So I'm I'm just blessed to make that jump. Is it a scary idea? Because there's a comfort, yeah, I would yeah. assume. Yeah, very scary. But you know, with the portal as it's going, you know, I had some confidence with the film that I had that I could. I could get some offers, so you know, I just it was a risk, but you know, um, I'm a faithful man, and I I knew that God had a plan for me, so so I trusted it, and and I'm blessed to be here. The yeah, NE10 fun conference. Yeah. So, what would you learn from there, and what was that experience like to kind of prepare you for this? I mean, shout out to Coach Adam and and everyone from St. Anselm, and they um that was they gave me the best college experience I could ask for, you know. Um, I learned brotherhood. I learned a lot about life and football. So, I mean, really, I, I credit them for, for teaching me everything that I know. What's it been like man, going from Florida to New Hampshire and yeah. now to Illinois? I mean, yeah. You're seeing the country. Yeah. Yeah, I've bounced around, hit a triangle a little bit. But, I mean, other than the weather, man, ball is ball. You know, the locker room is the locker room. Like, when you're on a football team, it's it doesn't really matter where you are, man. It's just it's always a good time. Yes. Said you had film that you felt like. Yeah. What, what, yeah. what do you feel like that film said about you as a player? Um, really, I can. My. Uh, I can do a lot of things. I'm, I'm kind of versatile. Um, I'm a little undersized, but I feel like I have, I have good speed and I can move pretty well, and and I can do a lot of different things well. Someone who's coming from a smaller school, you yeah. feel like you have a little chip on your shoulder. Maybe something. You feel like you have something for your career. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've kind of always had some. Like I've always felt like. I have something to prove, you know. I was a little under recruited out of out of high school, going to a smaller school, so that always played a factor. And now here, I mean, no one knows anything about me, so I'm ready to prove what I can what I can do. I mean, is that kind of a cool thing? Was it really maybe a blank slate? Yeah, for you? yeah. I mean, it yeah, it really is a blank slate. Um, you know, no none of the, nobody knows me here. Um, I got to build relationships from the ground up. So, as it's scary at at some point, but. Um, you know, everyone here has been super awesome, except me to this family and the coaches, the players. And I mean, I really feel like a part of this family already. And I've only been here for a couple of weeks, so so it's pretty cool. I always like to ask people to, now they've gone through the portal process. Yeah. You had any advice for future um, people going through that process? What did you What did you take from it? Talk to everyone, man. Every opportunity you get, see it to the fullest. Um, if they're if they're giving you visits, go on the visits. You know. It's it's really a connection thing, so make all the connections you can, and and really just take off every opportunity serious. So what were your first conversations like with the coaches here? Just was made that that relationship started to build when you were in the court. Yeah, so um, Coach Disher called me, the tight ends coach called me first, and and we kind of hit it off right off the bat. Um, he's an awesome guy. Um, I reached out to a couple of the tight ends just to see like how they felt about the program, and they were super cool and awesome, and then. Coach B got me on the phone and and he gave his whole spiel and, and it was awesome and got came on a visit and I really felt like it was a family up here so it was awesome. Is there any players or coaches that really stepped up in helping the acclimation process here in the first few weeks? Um, Coach Disher and uh, Coach Max Rosenfeld. He just left unfortunately to go into the NFL, but I'd say them two really helped me out a lot. And then um, all the tight ends in the tight end room were very uh, very helpful. Like teaching me how we do things here, teaching me some of the playbook, just all that kind of stuff. What's been so far the biggest adjustment for you? Um, I'd say just the intensity, even in this summer workout session. I mean, these workouts are intense, and I'd say probably that's the biggest change. Where are the X, Ys, and Zs of playing for Dish? Um, he knows his ball, and he expects a lot of us. So, I mean, he, he's going to nitpick us in film, and he's going to expect us to do the little things right. And um, yeah, he's a really good coach, a great guy, and, and yeah, just just the small things that he expects from us and wants us to be perfect. He has a piece in special teams. Is that yes. a world that you could live in as well? Yes, in I, yes, absolutely. I think that I played special teams at my old school, 
all the different types of special teams. So anything that I can do for this program to win, I'm, I'd love to do it. You could take me back to like the minute you decided, like, I'm going to give it a whirl. Like, do you uh, remember kind of that moment where you thought, I'm going to go on the port, I'm going to see what's out there and kind of what that experience was for you? Yeah, it was on my mind for a couple of weeks. And, you know, I was talking to my family a lot and they helped me out with this decision a lot. And then right when I decided, you know, it, it kind of it kind of spiraled right off the bat. So luckily there wasn't much downtime and it was really just it was a crazy experience and, and I loved it. I'm thinking you probably had some other interests from from power programs. Yeah, a couple. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but nothing like Illinois. Like the the love that they showed me was was different than anything else. So, Can you, how soon after your name was in the portal did Coach Fisher reach out? So. Um, so Illinois actually took a couple more weeks than the other schools, but again, the interest I was getting from other schools compared to Illinois, I just felt like this was a better home for me. Seemed, it seems like they had an interest in adding some, some dynamic pass catchers at the position. Like, did you get that similar vibe, and how do you feel like you fit into that? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's definitely one of my stronger suits than 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 other aspects of my game. But I mean, I'm just here to do any job that they give me. So whatever they want me to do, I'll do it to my best ability and see what happens. I was going to say, when it comes to the Big Ten and just coming to a bigger school like mm -hmm. this, is there a certain thing that you were extra excited for or a game maybe you had circled on your calendar? Um, I mean, just playing in this type of environment with this many fans is, is definitely very exciting to me. You know, like Michigan, Penn State, Oregon, it's just, I mean, it's, it's something that I dreamed of ever since I was a little kid. So now being able to live it is, is pretty exciting. How would you kind of describe this journey from under-recruited yeah. to Division Two to now? I mean, it's been crazy. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. If, if I could go back and do it again, I, I would go back to the same school I went and take this same because, because really, I, again, I feel like God had a plan for my life, and this is the plan, and, and I, I wouldn't take it back for anything. What's the biggest thing you took from that? Um, really just relationships. Um, that My team, back the three years I spent with those guys, I've had, I have relationships that I wouldn't trade for anything. So. I mean, we're all here to play football, but it's also a brotherhood and it's also a family that we're going to have forever. So that's probably the biggest piece. Now, one of the earlier questions you give a little bit of advice when it mm -hmm. comes to other guys, maybe it's the fans, the Big Ten, Division mm -hmm. Two in general. What kind of advice would you give for them to maybe take advantage of their first few years and go through a trans transfer transition like you? Can? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just any way that you can get on the field, get on the field. Whether you're better at, like, if you're on offense and you can block as a receiver, like take that wholeheartedly. Any way that you can get on the field and get film, that's the best way to do it. And then once you're on the field, then you can let your athleticism and any other aspect of your game show through. Is there, just being your last year, is there any sense of like urgency to, to show that you can make this yeah, jump? Or do you yeah. not look at it like that? Or? No, absolutely. You know, This is my last rodeo. So, I mean, all my cards are on the table this year. And fall camp, I'm going to come and I'm going to show them what I can do. And then I'll do whatever I can for the team to, to help us win. Did the portal experience for you get overwhelming? Did you ever just kind of want to put your phone down and go, God, I don't want to answer this today? Like, um, No, I wouldn't say that. Um, I'd say it was exciting every step of the way. I mean, just seeing all the all the opportunities I could have, I think it was it was a really fun experience. And I, I'm not going to like, my phone wasn't going crazy, right, crazy. Right. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't like some other people, but it was still very exciting. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it got overwhelming at any okay. point. You said Coach B gave his spiel. Like, what's that spiel from him for you in particular? Yeah. Like, what that looking sound like? Yeah, I mean, it was more about uh, Illinois and what they can do for me as a man, and what I can, what bringing me in can do for me as a football perspective and a life perspective. So, I mean, really, he just he kind of laid it out, and he um, he said that this was the best spot for me, and you know, I I listened to it and and I agreed at the end of the day. You got the, the fresh eyes. What do you think about this tight end room? The guys that you've been working with. Yeah, I mean, we're dynamic. There's, we're deep. There's a lot of people that can play a lot of good football, and uh, I'm excited to see what we can do on the field. And for that last row, is there any mm -hmm. goals or accomplishments in particular that you have for this year? Just win. Just win, get on the field, show them what I can do, and win some football games. What does it take to be like a dynamic pass catcher at that position? Like, what, what do you feel like you've maybe picked up over the last couple of years? Yeah, I mean, speed and Athleticism definitely play a role, but you know there's a lot of interest, intricacies that come to like footwork and stuff that I work on a lot. So, so being the size that I am, to try and have the same footwork as a smaller receiver is not easy. But 
it's definitely something that I work on, go to the field a lot and, you know, try and replicate their, their footwork. Illinois just had a former walk-on turn tight end yeah. drafted in the third round. Yeah. What, what do you feel like maybe even just a year's worth of development here can maybe do for you? Yeah, I mean, Coach Tank in this strength conditioning group is, is unbelievable, and they're doing great things every day. And, I mean, I've already gained some a decent amount of weight just being here for like four weeks. So really, they do an awesome job, and and I think that if I stay with this, you know, they can turn anybody into a into a freak. So it's pretty cool being in this in this environment.